Then we loaded up and headed back out to the fields for an afternoon hunt. We spread out and lined up along the field in our spots. But none of us had any idea of the good fortune that was about to present itself. When this pheasant came up, I was hesitant for a split second because the coloration was different than the other roosters. I wasn't quite sure if I should shoot in case it was a hen or some other kind of bird. But when Travis yelled, ROOSTER, my doubt was gone and I shot the bird of a lifetime. I was so happy I felt like I won the lottery. It was incredible. I don't know if I'll ever be able to top this. Awesome. Congratulations, yeah, black man. Pheasant. That was beautiful. Unreal. Got this black pheasant right here with Jesse. Yeah, there you go. Woo, look at that. Nice job. That is a pretty bird. That'll look I've good never on the seen lawn, one of those. Oh, that's amazing. Look at those tail feathers. Yeah, that one needs to get stuck. That one's going on the wall. That is beautiful. I had the rare opportunity to harvest a black pheasant. Okay, so we we came up here to South Dakota. You and you and I met on LinkedIn of all places, okay. and uh, you know, we discussed things over several months. And uh, you uh, invited us up here, and uh, you've been quite generous to myself and and my team, as well as the winner of our drawing that you graciously gave us. Can you tell us about what your operation is here at, in, in South Dakota? Um, well, a little bit about the history is that uh, uh, the land was purchased about 80 years ago by my grandfather and my father before me. And then I had the opportunity to purchase it in 1980 from him. And it, it just seemed like uh, I'd grown up here hunting and fishing and my parents were subsistence uh, providers you know we lived off this land we fished it we uh, hunted it we trapped it and we grew up with those values and, and respecting this land for what it could provide to us and as time went on you know I just felt like it was necessary to find a way to preserve this for future generations and so uh, this seemed as though it was economically feasible that it could, could uh, you know, by sharing it with others that uh, had the same values, that, that appreciated the land for, for uh, those things, for its game and its wildlife and its nature. And uh, by sharing that, you know, we've been able to do just that, is preserve it for for uh, generations to come and so we're pretty pleased with that and uh, we're especially honored to have you here you know and have you help us spread the word. Mm -hmm.